Attention! An asteroid the size of four Eiffel Towers is flying towards the Earth. It will soon hit our planet and destroy all life on it. Do you think these are just clickbait headlines? Well, for now, yes. But that doesn't mean the apocalypse is over. 66 and a half million years ago, a giant asteroid called Chicxulub already hit our planet and wiped out the dinosaurs. Scientists believe that history might repeat itself. In this video, you'll find out why would anyone need a nuclear explosion in space? What dinosaur can save humanity from extinction? And finally, will people be able to survive an asteroid impact? What will happen to us if an asteroid 12 kilometers in diameter hits the Earth? The Earth's atmosphere can't slow down space objects larger than 600 meters in diameter. That's why such an object will crash into our planet at full speed, leave a crater about 170 kilometers wide, and shatter into hundreds of rocky fragments. If you're at the epicenter of an impact at that moment, even the deepest bunker won't save you. You'll be blinded by a flash of light and simply evaporate. All buildings for many hundreds of kilometers around will be blown away by the blast wave, leading to a massive tsunami around the planet that will destroy the remaining buildings. But that's still not the worst. Doug Robertson, a geologist from the University of Colorado, believes that the main danger is not the asteroid itself, but its debris. During the explosion, chunks of rock and remnants of the meteorite can fly up to 70 kilometers high, and 40 minutes after the collision, they'll head back to Earth. Thousands of small meteorites will be set on fire in the atmosphere and quickly heat our planet. This will cause massive fires and destroy all life around. So, it was at this point that 66 million years ago most of the dinosaurs went extinct. And if this happens in our time, millions of people will die from the meteorite fall and fires. But what is the probability of such an asteroid hitting Earth? NASA experts believe that the risk of a giant asteroid impact is very high. That's why, back in 1992, the U.S. Congress set a goal for NASA. Over the next 25 years, they had to detect 90% of near-Earth objects that are larger than one kilometer. Such an asteroid could cause severe damage within a radius of several thousand kilometers. To make matters worse, it could disrupt communication and even satellite navigation. Today, space is monitored by dozens of different programs. Together, they have already found about 50% of near-Earth objects with diameters from 140 meters. And soon this figure will rise, as NASA is planning to launch the NEO Surveyor Infrared Telescope. It'll register all objects larger than 140 meters within a radius of 50 million kilometers from Earth's orbit. The NEO Surveyor will be equipped with two heat-sensitive infrared channels. This means that it'll be able not only to detect an asteroid, but also to measure its exact size, find out its composition, and calculate its speed and trajectory. If the dinosaurs had had such technology, they would have known about the catastrophe in advance. And, well, what can we actually do with an asteroid flying towards the Earth? How can we protect ourselves from an asteroid impact? In fact, scientists know what to do. The first thing is to destroy the asteroid before it enters our atmosphere. For example, blow it up with a nuclear device. But think twice before launching nuclear warheads into space. This strategy has a huge disadvantage, as debris of the asteroid can still fall on the Earth and lead to destruction. But there's still another way. An asteroid can be knocked off its course so that it passes by our planet. And NASA's already launched the first DART training mission. This spacecraft will crash into the small asteroid Dimorphos this September. Scientists will try to turn it away from its original trajectory. If they succeed, it'll become an effective way to protect Earth from asteroids. Or not. Probably not. The problem is that the diameter of Dimorphos is only 170 meters, and the DART spacecraft that has to crash into it weighs 610 kilograms. To shoot down the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs, we'd need an aircraft 70 times larger than that. It turns out that today we don't have adequate protection from outer space threats, but that doesn't mean we can't survive. 
astronomers will be able to notice an asteroid capable of destroying everything long before the impact and will have some time to prepare. People will have to build bunkers about 5 kilometers underground in order to survive. Obviously, there won't be enough space in such bunkers for everyone. However, it's equally clear that the chance of getting there will probably increase if you have a gun in your hands. But also, you won't be able to just sit in the bunker for a couple of days and then return to your everyday life afterwards. After the fires, ash and dust particles will float in the atmosphere for another 10 years, completely blocking the sunlight. Thus, the temperature on the planet will instantly drop by about 28 degrees, and all plants will die. They'll be followed by herbivorous animals and finally predators. Only those who prepared in advance will be able to survive. For example, the feathered dinosaurs began to evolve into birds long before the asteroid impact, and that's what saved their lives. Such animals were much smaller than their fellow dinosaurs, which means they didn't need as much food to survive. Shortly before the asteroid impact, some of them developed a beak and became omnivorous. They fed on insects, plant seeds, nuts, and whatever else they could find. People also need to be prepared that the food in the bunker may end too soon. The main problem is that we won't be able to grow plants and farm animals without sunlight. The only thing that can grow in catacombs is mushrooms. So, if you want to survive, you'll have two options. The first is to follow the example of the feathered dinosaurs and become fully omnivorous. Most likely, the source of protein for humans will not be meat and beans, but cockroaches. According to scientists, they're among the few who will survive the asteroid impact not a big insect lover, there's still another option. You're locked in a bunker with hundreds of other people. Today, they're your neighbors, but tomorrow, they might be your potential dinner. In general, if you have a gun and no moral principles, you'll be just all right. So, will we suffer mass extinction? Elon Musk, for example, thinks we will. One day, a giant asteroid will hit Earth again, and so far, we have no protection from it. And what is your plan in the event of the apocalypse? Let us know in the comments. And also, be sure to check out this video to find out what happens if the largest known asteroid hits Earth. The dinosaur-killing one is a mere baby next to this monster.